We can see. Can you see? Can you see can the see screen now? now? Yeah, we can yeah. see it. Okay, fine. Let me proceed from from here. Wow. So today um, we'll be looking at the gospel of the kingdom. And of course, there is a reason why we we're looking at this gospel of the kingdom. You'll find it very much repeated in the Bible. Um, our goal and our focus is that the gospel of the kingdom needs to be restored. So we're talking about restoration of the lost message of salvation. What I've planned to do is to just take you across a number of thoughts. Uh, through those thoughts, we are going to look at where we are and where we should be. And I believe God's going to help us. So I've split this message into two, part one and then part two. So I'm only going to share part one today and hopefully by God's grace, we'll be able to have another opportunity to share part two so that we complete it. So let's move on. So why do we talk about the message of the kingdom? Uh, if you look at Matthew 7, 21 to 23, uh, Jesus said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my father in heaven. So he's already talking about the kingdom and this kingdom is called the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. And that uh, if you have to enter that kingdom, the condition is you must do the will of the father who is in heaven. Then he says, many shall say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? Then, and then I'll declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. That's in the New King James Version. Uh, this is a, a very sad end. It indicates that uh, the conditions for entry are tough. In fact, in another place, the Bible talks about the way is narrow that leadeth to life and the way is wide that leadeth, leadeth to destruction. So the conditions here seems to be tough ones and uh, it's about the kingdom. And he says there will be a day when he will have people into the kingdom and some people out and some people who will be out will have thought that actually they they were part of the kingdom and then they will begin to to, to argue and say hey see we, we we even prophesied cast out demons in your name that means uh it's not even talking about the sinners out there it's even talking about the people in the church it's even talking about people who have moved in the power of gifts mm -hmm. and witness what god can do mm -hmm. but that is not sufficient for you to get into this kingdom so that means God can use you mm -hmm. and yet you don't get into that kingdom finally. Mm -hmm. And that's a sad story and we have to be very, very careful mm -hmm. so that we understand the message of the kingdom mm -hmm. and what the intentions of God are. Amen. Paul said, I don't want uh, that I, I do one thing. One thing that I do, uh, I pommel my body and I beat it so that after I preach to others, I should not be a castaway. Mm -hmm. It means I can be a preacher. I can be used mightily of God, but I must do something to put myself into the conditions that will enable me enter into this kingdom. Amen. 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 So these tough words of Jesus indicate that there is, it's not a guarantee for you to enter heaven just because you are religious yeah. or you work some miracles or you even mention the name of the Lord or you, or you are very prayerful or you go to church or you belong to a Pentecostal church. That is not sufficient for making you be part of this kingdom. Mm. That is a that is the, the root shock. Paul warned in Timothy, second uh, Timothy verse three, chapter three, verse five, that in the last days perilous times will come and men will have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Mm. We, and, and the Bible says, we have to turn away from such. That means it is possible to have people who don't want to have the driving power of this kingdom mm. 
-hmm. And so they have just a form of religion. They are very satisfied. They, they, they have a church. They have a big congregation. Our church is big. Our church is, is like this. They go through events. They go through programs. And uh, according to the word of God here mm -hmm. is that uh, people in the last days, mm -hmm. the right last times shall come. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the days. Mm -hmm. Not those days of Paul, these days we are living in. Yeah. They are the ones that he was talking about that people will have, will be very religious. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to submitting to the power of that kingdom, you'll find they fall short there. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at what is this message of the kingdom so that we understand it. And that's why I broke it into two, part one and part two. And we do just part one today. And hopefully God will give us grace to handle the other part. Mm -hmm. Let's do a, a little comparison of the first church and the current church. Uh, if you look at the words of Jesus, they were very harsh words. The first church was completely separated from the world mm -hmm. in terms of her belief in Jesus Christ and her walk with God. Mm -hmm. In a general sense here, we are saying that today's church is very worldly. Mm -hmm. We, we look like the world. We are very close to the world. Mm -hmm. And the world has learned. So the world has also become very churchy. Yes. It looks like us. Oh, and because of that, you find the kingdom is not coming out very clearly. Mm -hmm. And we have to do something about it mm -hmm. if we have to be a part of building the kingdom of God. Amen. The first church was full of power. Mm -hmm. But today's church is very philosophical, mm -hmm. full of arguments. Mm -hmm. And without the without or with little with little or no demonstrative power of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the church is weak. The church is a struggling church. Mm -hmm. The church is struggling in sin, and so you find Christians who are saying, you know, everyone has his weakness, mm -hmm. and we 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 embrace our mm -hmm. weaknesses mm -hmm. instead of embracing the power that will cause us to overcome that that weakness and live mm -hmm. in in the in the light and in the calling of God. Mm. So we, we are not living the life of the kingdom. And that's why we can't preach this kingdom because you can't give people what you don't have. Mm. So this is why we are talking about restoring uh, the message of the kingdom. As we continue doing the comparison today, the believer's faith is largely anchored on the, on the preacher or the pastor. Mm. Sometimes they call them dad. Mm. They call them even mom when it is a female pastor. Mm. Uh, more than Jesus Christ himself. The preacher is highly exalted. Mm -hmm. Christ is minimized. Oh but what happened in the early church? We are doing comparison. The early apostles rent their clothes mm -hmm. when they realized that the people's face was shifting from the Lord to themselves. Mm -hmm. They declared they did not deserve any special mm -hmm. attempt, mm -hmm. attention. You can see that in um, Acts chapter 14 and verse 14 and 15. Uh, how Paul and his colleagues tore their clothes when they realized that these guys are making gods out of them. Mm -hmm. They were looking at them as mighty people. But today we enjoy fancy titles. Mm -hmm. We enjoy, you know, big things. And uh, so the church is full of personalities. Mm -hmm. No wonder we have so many denominations, especially among Pentecostals mm -hmm. and Charismatics. We have so many denominations. When I feel I can just do it and also come out with my own style, mm -hmm. I form one. Mm -hmm. So much that the government of Kenya has re stopped registering churches because we are too much anyway. <laughs> first, the church, the first church was very sacrificial. Mm -hmm. If you look at the first church, we, 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 we see right from the beginning, as the, by the time you're hitting chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, you see great sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Great sacrifices that these people were giving. And um, they lived a holy life. In fact, the Bible says nobody dared to join them. People feared to join them because they were holy, they were separated, and they seemed to be following a very high, high calling. Yeah. Uh, and the Bible uh, talks about um, uh, these people actually were supporting the gospel, uh, or the preaching of the gospel. So what is happening today? The church has become materialistic, struggling with the sin, and preaching a message which is no gospel at all, mm. skewed towards giving uh, for you to be blessed. Ukitoa ndi utabarikiwa. Ukitoa hivi ndi utabarikiwa. Ndi upate hivi lazima ubarikiwa. By the way, this thing was imported from the West, mm. and we have become, we have perfected it, and we become worse than even the West. Mm. 
Uh, so while the West is lost and confused because they lost the gospel a long time, in Africa we are busy still preaching that if you give, you're going to be blessed. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. The truth is we must obey the word of God. Amen. And as we obey the word of God, God watches over his word to perform it. Amen. Amen. The, giving, Amen. The, 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 the giving specifically goes towards an anointed man of God mm -hmm. who has power to pronounce blessings. Mm -hmm. And so we have people's faith anchored on people, mm -hmm. men of God that, that, you know, if you just go to that church and you just give, you know, and so because that has be, become the story, what is happening is that uh, many people have become prophets. Mm -hmm. They are not prophets. They're actually false prophets. Mm -hmm. Because if you prophesy mm -hmm. good things to a person, it gives a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that is what is happening. That is not gospel. It is not the gospel of the kingdom. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you practice that, be sure you'll be left out. And one day he will say, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Even if you had a big title, like a bishop or a pope, mm -hmm. you will not be known. So that, we are doing comparison of the first church and the current church. The first church preached repent and be baptized repent and be baptized Amen. repent and be baptized we have no other message the message is repent and be baptized you must change the word repent means change of heart change of direction you must turn from where you're going go the right direction Amen. we cannot pamper people and expect them to enter into the kingdom i have no kingdom to take people mm. the kingdom belongs to jesus Amen. and the conditions for entering it we must understand Amen. so the first church preached repent and be baptized mm -hmm. every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins mm -hmm. and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit Amen. right from the beginning even when they are preaching to sinners mm -hmm. they talked about the holy spirit mm -hmm. because you must repent be baptized receive jesus christ and when you receive jesus christ submit your life to the holy spirit amen. and life begins life of the kingdom begins there amen. hallelujah amen. today's church what, what is happening in today's church today's church is filled with people who don't want to be rebuked mm. yes they want comfort mm. they are very choosy on the kind of message that they want mm. preachers have to soothe them mm. so that they they keep in the church or else they will go mm. I was thinking of a very sad uh, statement that I heard from a man of God that today's youth hawakai kanisani kama hauna mziki poa hawezi ka kanisani I don't know where this nonsense came from mm -hmm. we were youths we there are now keyboards mm -hmm. in our days we had drums mm -hmm. in our days we had uh, we, we we had we would pick any jerrican old jerrican and uh, turn it into a drum and we sing and praise god mm -hmm. there, there was nothing like music that was pulling us mm -hmm. it is the pool of the holy spirit amen. that made us amen. and the holy spirit is able to keep the youths in the church amen. Amen. amen amen you don't have to come with the worldly styles and and because of that accommodation the youths are in the church dressing up the way they want Mm -hmm. keeping funny hair mm -hmm. they are even now plating their hair and they are men mm -hmm. funny things are happening mm -hmm. which have never never been seen before mm -hmm. we look more confused mm -hmm. and now we and, and we still call that gospel let me be very clear here i am not i know i may offend somebody but that's okay so long as i offend you and you change and you enter into the kingdom we'll be very happy Amen. hallelujah Amen. we have to take the message of the kingdom mm. and understand it well mm. for us to be preachers that will present that message Amen. so as we progress you will be able to see what we are talking about Amen. in second timothy chapter 4 and verse 3 and 4 the bible says for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own last they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears the bible says but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry i like this mm -hmm. that when our focus is in soul winning mm -hmm. and when our focus is in is in holding the word of god as it is mm -hmm. you you are able to prove that you have a ministry mm -hmm. you are able to prove and the proof will be done by the holy spirit mm -hmm. himself mm -hmm. you don't have to add anything mm -hmm. you don't have to own things you mm -hmm. don't 
You don't have to have a big car. You don't have to be, 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 have a big suit, a good suit. Mm. You can be used of God. Mm. Some of us started preaching in slippers mm. and the Holy Spirit started moving. Amen. It doesn't matter how you look like. Mm. God will fix your physical as you hold on to the word of God Amen. and you move on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When we begin to esteem physical things as as what is more important, then we are not in this kingdom. Mm. We are, you are in the kingdom of men, mm. where how the outlook of man, the outward look, the outward look of the man really matters. Mm. Because the Bible, Bible says, um, God spoke to Samuel that that man looks on the outward, mm. but God looks on the inside. Mm. And I'm, I don't mean to mean that I should be dirty. I don't mean to say that I should just be careless because the Holy Spirit does not care about that. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Mm. The Bible says if you make the inside of the cup clean, the uh -huh. outside will be clean as well. Uh -huh. There is no way you can be clean inside and remain dirty outside. Uh -huh. It's not possible. Mm. I've seen this gospel where it is received, People come out of alcohol, they dress up well, they, they are able to use their salary well, they are able to build their families well, they become glorious, they change because God is in operation. Amen. Amen. As we continue doing this comparison, when I remember the cost paid by the men and women of God uh, through the ages who played a very central role to defend the gospel. Uh, some even paying with their very lives mm -hmm. or their very livelihoods. If you look at Hebrews 10, mm -hmm. 32 to 35, the Bible talks about uh, uh, the, 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 the Hebrews having given themselves. Their property was plundered for the welfare of the gospel. Some lost things. And, and now uh, uh, the, the apostle in the book of Hebrews was encouraging them. Mm -hmm. and, and he's saying that you shall be richly rewarded. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I wonder whether really, People who have gone through such a high cost to pay, uh, to get the gospel preached, shall we? are we entering the same heaven with them as we play around and uh, do our own churchy things? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Today's church is drowned in events mm -hmm. and ceremonies mm -hmm. that excite people wow. at the expense of their spiritual well-being, sometimes to receive the same rewards. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. It's just bad. Mm -hmm. uh, If, if you look at, um, at, 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 at Hebrews chapter 13, the Bible says it, it, is, it, is, it is well that the soul be benefited by the word of God, mm -hmm. not foods, mm -hmm. not meats. God did not call us for foods or ceremonies. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying we will not have ceremonies. We will have ceremonies, mm -hmm. but we will not lose track of the message. Oh, yes. We will not lose track of our standards. Oh, yes. When we have our wedding, it will be a wedding with the standards oh, of yes. the kingdom. Yes. When we go home to see our parents, we shall have a ceremony with the standards of the kingdom. Oh, yes. When we go to pay the dowry, it will be an excellent occasion, but with the standards of the kingdom. Oh, yes. We are not going to mix with the things of the world. Mm -hmm. We are not going to mix our traditions mm -hmm. together with the word of God. Yes. And the Bible says that will make the word of God of null effect. Mm -hmm. We will not do that. That's what the kingdom is all about. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 10, verse 32 to 35, the Bible says, talks about uh, these people had compassion. Uh, for, for you had compassion on me in my chains and joyfully accepted the plundering of your goods, mm -hmm. knowing that you have a better and an enduring possession for yourselves in heaven. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Amen. And this is what I want to encourage somebody. I know there are believers who are serious. I know there are Christians who want to see the kingdom of God. I know there are Christians who are very careful. I know there are Christians who are tired of today's church, the way it has presented itself. And you look odd because you are alone, maybe alone in that congregation, or maybe you have even lost a lot of friends. The Bible says, don't Cast away your confidence. Amen. Hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for a popular vote. Oh, yes. You are looking about for the narrow way Amen. so that you enter into that kingdom. Amen. 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 So let me just put a few questions to help us think through. Um, one of them is, could it be that we have lost God's mission of spreading the gospel, the gospel message and making true disciples? Could it be that's where we are? I think this is where we are. Mm -hmm. We've lost it. We're no longer preaching. Mm -hmm. That's why people are not getting born again. In many congregations, the sinners just keep coming, they go out. Some have even become members and they've never known Jesus. Mm -hmm. Could it be that out of fear of offending people, the church of today has gone to a, on a different mission 
trying to appeal and to attract people to church so that we can have a large following. Could it be that we value big church? Mm. So we talk about our big church, our colorful events, mm. our colorful services. Yeah, and if it's, if, it's like, if it's like praise and worship, we talk about our instruments mm. and the instruments are not inspired mm. and the people are not clean mm. and the people are not even born again. They don't even know how to live a holy life. Mm. Yeah, I, I, know, I know of a lot of instrument players who are actually hired mm -hmm. and paid for them to worship. I yes. thought David the king was not paid by anybody mm -hmm. as he worshipped right from when he was a shepherd boy in the bush until when he was king. Mm -hmm. And even when he was ministering to Saul mm -hmm. and demons were tormenting King Saul, but David availed himself. There has never been a payment for worship. Yes. I don't know where people got this from. Mm -hmm. This is a terrible apostasy and we have to understand the message of the kingdom. Amen. Could it be that we have been occupied with expensive programs that can attract even more people to our church halls, but little is happening in their hearts? Mm -hmm. Could it be that actually people are starving in the churches? Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that there is a hunger for God and people are looking for God. Yes. If we would accept Jesus Christ to rule over our lives and direct us as he wants in the agenda of the kingdom, I want to tell you it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter your title, God will use you to meet that hunger and feed that soul. Amen. Amen. Would it be, we are asking ourselves, where did the passion go? Mm -hmm. Where is the zeal that consumed the author of our salvation when he turned tables around in the temple? Where is that zeal? How comes we really have to be persuaded for us to get involved in soul winning? Mm -hmm. How comes we are not willing to get involved? Could it be that even our very experience with this king is so little? Oh, yes. Could it be that our love for him is one thing? Mm -hmm. These are just questions I was asking myself and I was probing myself and say, God, I want you to help me. I don't want to be a preacher by name. I don't want to be called Bishop so-and-so. And I have nothing to give people. And I have no ship to present to Jesus. I don't want to be that. I want to be uh, compliant to the kingdom. Amen. 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 If we have to move from that kind of situation, our focus should be on restoring the kingdom message. Mm. And this is what I have to say that all fall away in the Bible, all of them, they occurred when people neglected and disobeyed the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Every time we don't prefer the word of God and we allow other things to come in, our thoughts, our preferences, our philosophies, anything that replaces God's word begins to push us away and away and away from God. Mm -hmm. And so the word of God is at the center of all restorations. Mm -hmm. In fact, all restorations and revivals that we read about in the Bible, we read through history, they came because the people once again sought the law of the Lord mm -hmm. to teach it and practice it. Amen. 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 So we have to come back to the very message of the kingdom so that we can see God manifesting himself. How comes we really have to pray too much and so little that is coming in? Mm -hmm. Something is wrong somewhere mm -hmm. and God helping us, we are able to fix it. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm saying we, we, we are, we are um, uh, promised that uh, those who will know their God in the book of Daniel 11, mm -hmm. 32, mm -hmm. that the people who will know God in the end times, mm -hmm. they shall be be able to stand very, very strongly mm -hmm. despite the evil and the apostasy of that time. Mm -hmm. And they will do wonders. They will do expl exploits mm -hmm. for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that encourages me. It means it doesn't matter how, uh, 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 how, how the world has gone away, mm -hmm. fallen away mm -hmm. from the truth. So long as you embrace that truth, God is able to work with you. Mm -hmm. And even if it's you alone, God is able to use Amen. you to make a difference in the kingdom. Amen. 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 There are fundamental truths that we have to embrace as part of the gospel message of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And those are things that we can, they are indisputable. We have, no, we have no argument about it. We have to accept it as it is. And our obedience action in faith 
believing what the word of God is telling us makes us to be able to see the hand of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when we obey him, then we'll be able to win souls into the kingdom mm -hmm. and we'll be able to bear much fruit mm -hmm. and the fruit will abide. Amen. 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 Look at Joel 2, 23. Look at verse 28, 29, 30, 31. Talks very clearly about a promise of God to send the former rain mm -hmm. and the latter rain mm -hmm. all together in mm -hmm. one month. Mm -hmm. This is really saying that God is ready to send rain here representing the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. God is ready to send the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in our days. Mm -hmm. God knows how far we've gone away from him, but he's ready to invest. Amen. He's ready to uh, prepare a people who will accept him. Mm -hmm. He is ready to have a people uh, that upon whom the anointing will come mm -hmm. and they will be able to carry out the business of Amen. the kingdom. And, De and Joel says in verse 28, and I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The promise is the outpouring of the spirit of God. Amen. When the spirit of God comes, ministry flows. Amen. Bible says your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Amen. Your young men shall see visions. Amen. See your young men will follow music. Amen. The Bible says they will follow visions. Yes. Amen. The visions will pull. The Spirit of God is ready to hold, get hold of young people Amen. and show them visions. Amen. And that is what will keep them in the church. Yes. We are here today ministering because God showed us visions in the days of our youth. Yes. And we, we were caught up in that vision. And that's why we stuck in church, not music, Amen. Not, the, not, not the styles of dancing. Yes. So you see people are dancing yes. and just uh, um, knocking their, their, their knees together so that they can look like the world. That has nothing to do with the kingdom. Mm. It looks fancy. It's entertaining. It's okay for you if you like it. But it has nothing to do with the kingdom. Amen. 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 Joel says, I'm going to pour out even on the handmaid. Even, mm. even your servants, I'll pour out my spirit mm. upon them. Mm. He says that. And in verse 31, he says, I'll do that before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. Mm. That, that means there is a day of judgment. It's mm. called the great and terrible day of of the Lord before that judgment comes there is a promise in the Bible mm -hmm. that God is ready to pour out his spirit once more mm -hmm. upon all flesh mm -hmm. all flesh mm -hmm. all flesh mm -hmm. he does not discriminate mm -hmm. as long as you accept his word mm -hmm. as long as you accept what he's saying mm -hmm. you will be in amen. it will be a portion mm -hmm. amen. amen and so I want us to look at uh, a very fundamental verse in Matthew 20 verse 14 which is our theme uh, verse uh, for today's message it says and this gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. shall be preached mm -hmm. in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come Amen. now packaged in that verse are several things mm -hmm. one the message is the gospel mm -hmm. it's the gospel which means the good news mm -hmm. the good news is man does not have to die again the good news is man is not forever condemned. Mm -hmm. The good news is Jesus Christ has bore our sins on the tree. Amen. That's good news. Mm -hmm. The good news is we don't have to suffer even in our own sicknesses and diseases mm -hmm. because by his stripes we are healed. There are good, there's good news mm -hmm. in the gospel. Amen. And the gospel must be about the kingdom, not the miracles. Amen. The gospel is about the kingdom. It's called the gospel of the kingdom. kingdom so the gospel is about the kingdom and every christian that gets born again must understand this kingdom Amen. so that so that he knows how to operate in the kingdoms the principles that govern the kingdom the conditions that keep you there Amen. the conditions that keep you going Amen. we have to understand the kingdom and the bible says if we understand the gospel the good news of the kingdom then we will preach. Amen. We will preach that message. Mm. That's what the Lord wants. Mm. That's the message to preach. Not what we are seeing in the world. Mm. Not the miracles that we are seeing. Mm. Uh, not, not the fake miracles and the fake promises and the fake prophecies mm. that are dominating the world today. Mm. No, 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 not that. Bible says this shall be preached and the Holy Spirit is ensuring that this will happen in all parts of the world Amen. why every man must be given an opportunity to say yes i want the kingdom or no i want to follow another kingdom mm -hmm. because you can't live 
You cannot reject the kingdom of God and then reject the kingdom of man, which will be run by the Antichrist. The Antichrist is the king of the kingdoms of the world. And he's been prepared and is coming up and it's coming up very fast. Mm -hmm. So we have to preach this kingdom message, the gospel of the kingdom. While we have, while it is day, the Bible says night, the night cometh when no man uh, shall be able to work. And then the Bible says when that preaching work is accomplished and everyone has been able to be, to hear the word of God, then poof, the end comes. Amen. That's the promise of God. Amen. So now what I want us to do, God willing, I would like us to, uh, look at a number of fundamental truths that uh, revolve around this message uh, of the kingdom so that now uh, we know how to fit in. I believe um, uh, that way we will be able to move. Now, the kingdom message is from the Bible. I want to repeat that. The kingdom message is from the Bible mm -hmm. and the Bible is God's written word. Amen. It is the only book throughout history that was written by people who belonged to different generations and yet it is one book. Mm -hmm. It is the only book that was written by people who never even knew each other, most of them, and yet the message agrees and flows. Amen. It is the only book that is alive to this day. Amen. And it is the oldest book on earth. Amen. So this is a book that we must understand, mm. that it is indisputable. Mm. There are no arguments about yes. it. So the moment you present arguments, mm -hmm. you lose this kingdom Amen. and you'll not be part of it. Yeah. This book is inspired. Mm -hmm. That means it has been given mm -hmm. by the breath of God himself. Yes. It is the breath of God throughout the ages mm -hmm. that actually made these preachers speak the same connecting word, one, uh, one with the other, and yet they, they never each knew each other. Mm -hmm. Joel is prophesying mm -hmm. about the coming of the Holy Spirit Peter the Apostle is pronouncing, this is what was prophesied by Joel the Apostle, the wow. Joel the Prophet. Amen. The connection has to do with the Holy Spirit, Amen. who is the inspirer of the word. Amen. And he makes it the only authentic word mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. It is the only one. Mm -hmm. It is the authoritative word Amen. that we have to depend upon. And this must be in our faith. It must be in the roots of our faith. Mm -hmm that the kingdom message is based on this Bible mm -hmm. and this Bible is sufficient. Amen. It is enough yes. and it gives sufficient direction mm -hmm. and power to drive the king's agenda. Amen. We have to believe that and Amen. that must be settled in us. Mm -hmm. The moment we begin to think there is something else that is more important mm -hmm. and we, we slow down on reading the word of God, maybe you find it difficult, maybe you find it boredom, whatever it is, and then we engage other materials materials to get into the word of God, I want to tell you, we'll be getting lost. Read the Bible. Amen. Read the Bible. Amen. Read the Bible. Amen. 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 Read the Bible. Have your own copy. Amen. Don't go to Amen. church without the Bible. Have a Bible for yourself. Amen. Have your own copy. Amen. 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 That's important. Underline verses there. Let them be part of you. Put those verses within you. Eat the word of God, let it be part of you. Amen. That is very important Amen. because God's written word must be written on the tablet of your heart. Amen. That is how the kingdom will operate. Amen. 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 Bible says in 2 T Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, the Bible says, all scripture is, in, is given by inspiration of God. Here it goes again. The breath of God. Every scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine. It's, it's profitable for reproof. It's profitable for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work Amen. everything that you need to do in this kingdom mm -hmm. anything that that encompasses your destiny mm -hmm. everything god meant you to be is is crafted in the inspired word of god Amen. it is in there mm -hmm. you may not have seen it but it is in there yes. you may have struggled and suffered in life but your solution is in there Amen. and you must believe it mm -hmm. because that faith and that belief is what pulls the holy spirit to pick a scripture pull it out 
for you mm. so that you can understand what he's doing in your life. Amen. Amen. The Bible reveals God's love mm. and his passion to, to pursue the one and only kingdom agenda. Mm. That is to redeem man from his lostness. Mm. That is the whole story in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, God is laboring to communicate to us mm. that he has one agenda. Mm. And that agenda is to pick somebody who he created after his own image, mm. but he fell away. Mm. And if we preach it like that, mm. we will be able to invoke faith in people Amen. and encourage them that God is for them. Amen. Things may be difficult. Mm. Life may have gone the opposite way. Mm. Your background may be rotten, mm. but that does not mean that God is not for you. Yes. We can be able to bring hope to the people. Amen. Amen. When we tell them God's only agenda is to redeem man, Amen. to get him back to himself. And God is so passionate about it. In fact, this is how Jesus put it. He will leave the 99 sheep and go for the one that is lost, even if it's just one. That means even if you are just the only one that will accept the gospel, Christ was ready to come and die Amen. on the cross just because of you. Amen. Can somebody say amen out there? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. The kingdom message is not only about the Bible, but it's about the Son of God, that Amen. God has a Son. And this Son is our Savior. Amen. The Bible contains, this, contains the story of the fall of man. How I love this. How through one man, sin entered into the world. Mm. But the Bible says, the sweet story of redemption. That's the good part. That the, but that in the same manner, the sweet story of redemption mm. is through the power of the blood. Mm. How through one man as well, even God's only son, righteousness entered into the world. Mm. That means if you believe that you are born a sinner mm. and that you are struggling with sin mm. because naturally you are born in sinfulness, mm. then the Bible says, aha, you believe that through Adam, sin came. Mm. There is a second Adam. Mm. This is the agenda of the kingdom. Amen. And this second Adam is called the son of God. Amen. And God will always go for the second son. Mm. Uh, the second son carries the way. Jacob, he, le he loved and so he hated. Mm. Amen. So the second Adam is here, and he is the author of righteousness. So through the second Adam, righteousness came to completely change the equation. Amen. And the Bible says, and he died on the cross, and he became a curse for us. As it is written, cast is he that hangs on a tree. God took our curse. The Bible says he took the handwriting of the ordinances that stood against us, all the laws we had broken, mm -hmm. all the laws that Satan was saying, this one you have broken, this one you have broken, you can't be part of God's kingdom. Jesus said, I'm going to deal with all this and I'll nail them on the cross. Once we have faith in Jesus, that happens to us. The, the old is gone, we become new. Amen. Righteousness comes in. Amen. The sinfulness goes away. Yes. That's God's agenda. The, the kingdom message is about his son. If you cannot preach about the son of God, we have no message. Mm. There's no message there. Mm. We went to Garissa one time. Mm. We went to Garissa one time. Mm. And um, a team of us from college, as we went to preach, we were told here, if you, don't, if you don't want to cause hostility, just don't say that Jesus is the son of God because the locals here with their religion, they believe that God cannot have a son mm -hmm. because God does not have a wife. Mm -hmm. Foolishness, isn't it? Yeah. And, and man thinks just because in your thinking the only way to have a son is through a wife, mm -hmm. if you are a man, uh, you now equate that God is that weak mm -hmm. and limited. Mm -hmm. So you can't even believe that God is able to cause his son to come through a virgin. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that a virgin conceived. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, we actually were constrained and we didn't want to cause havoc so that we finish a weekend challenge. But I remember the preacher of Sunday. One of our brothers is a pastor now in one of uh, the churches in Nairobi. 
He stood there and he said, there is no message without preaching God as the son of God. Amen. So he stood and he declared, God, Jesus Christ is the son of God. If you want to stone me, stone me. <laughs> That's the message. That's the message of the kingdom. When you are when you are possessed with the message of the kingdom, you don't care the consequences, yes. you preach it. Mm -hmm. So I remember that that afternoon we had a very rough time because stones were being thrown uh, onto the, the iron sheets, the roof of the house, just to disturb us so that we don't preach. Nonetheless, we preach the son of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is the son of God. God has a son. Yes. And that is carrying everything. Mm -hmm. And that son, the Bible says, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Uh -huh. This son looks like us. Mm -hmm. And he passed, he was born like us. Mm -hmm. He grew like us. Mm -hmm. He ate like us. Mm -hmm. He faced the same temptations like us. Mm -hmm. That's the gospel message. Amen. That's the kingdom message. Mm -hmm. And that he went through all that on our behalf Amen. so that he can be a merciful and a faithful high priest Amen. unto God to represent us because he really knows what it means to be man. Yes. And that is the son of God. Mm -hmm. That's our message. Mm -hmm. We have to preach about the son. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is very categorical about that. Mm -hmm. And in, in Romans chapter 5, verse 12 to 21, I want to encourage many, many of you, please, uh, if you have opportunity, please read and study Romans chapter 5, verse 12 and all the way to verse 21. It's a wonderful, wonderful scripture. Amen. Amen. But let me pick verse 19 in that uh, whole text. It says, for us by one man's disobedience, mm -hmm. many were made sinners. Mm -hmm. So by the obedience of one mm -hmm. shall many be made righteous. Mm -hmm. I am glad I am one of the ones that have been made righteous Amen. by this one, one man, Jesus Christ. Amen. John Chapter 1, verse 5 and verse 29b. Look at what it says. The Bible says, John bore witness of him, and he cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And he cries in verse 29, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The sinfulness of this world will is dealt with by the son of god who died on the cross mm -hmm. so that we don't have to die amen. we don't have to be under the same curse amen. amen the kingdom message is also about the holy spirit mm -hmm. the holy spirit is the one who accomplishes the kingdom agenda mm -hmm. so we cannot ignore the holy spirit mm -hmm. irrespective whether our churches preach about him mm -hmm. or they believe him or they don't believe him. Here is not a place of argument. The Holy Spirit is at the center of getting things done. Amen. He even Jesus remember telling his disciples, mm -hmm. I am going to leave you for a while, but I'm going to come back. Yeah. Yeah? And I'll come back by sending the Holy Spirit. When I send him, he will not speak of his own. Yes. He will hear from me mm -hmm. and then he will do. Amen. So Jesus is the administrator of the kingdom Amen. and the Holy Spirit is the one who manifests the works. Amen. We, we have to know this is the message. Mm -hmm. The message is complete mm -hmm. together. Amen. You cannot talk about salvation and then when it comes to the Holy Spirit, we begin to argue. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. This is where the church is having a lot of problems. Yes. So we have churches that call themselves nominal. I don't know nominal Christian. I don't know Protestants. I don't know. We, we don't believe in the Holy Spirit. Others charismatic. Other, I don't know Pentecostal. You can label yourselves all kinds of fancy titles, but you won't change the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth is repent and be baptized, each one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and you will receive the gift, the promise of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's one package. Mm -hmm. It's one package promising salvation mm -hmm. when we repent and turn to Jesus. And it's the same, same package that says, hey, the Holy Spirit will come in and the cards. And you will be living in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the administrator of the kingdom is Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the word of God, the written word of God, which in Greek is called Logos, reveals that the kingdom agenda is actually administered by Jesus Christ. You can look at that in, 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 uh, in, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where the Bible says that there are, there are, there are, there are, there are um, differences in administration, but it's the same Jesus. He's the administrator of this kingdom. Amen. 
He is the revealed Son of God. Amen. He is the Lamb of God, the Lamb of Amen. sacrifice. Amen. He is also the Messiah, mm. the promised Messiah, mm. who will come and save us out of this world. Amen. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords, mm. because he has a kingdom and he reigns. Mm. He is the judge of the living and the dead. Amen. This is the Jesus we have to preach. Mm. This should be the content of our message Amen. when we are preaching, mm. not about how miracles will happen when people do certain things. Mm. That is not the message. Mm. Of course, if I give into the kingdom with faith mm. and do it, not because a preacher said it, mm. but because I have faith in God, God will obey his word, God will keep his word, Amen. God is faithful, I'll be blessed through my giving. Yes. But my giving is not the message. Mm. The message of the kingdom is about the son of God, mm -hmm. it's about the Holy Spirit. Yes. We have to be very clear on that mm -hmm. so that we don't deviate from the message when we see the manifestations Amen. and then we now cling to the manifestations. Mm -hmm. That's why we have churches that have different names. Mm -hmm. You have ch churches that are talking about about Holy Ghost promise, blah, 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 very wrong churches. Mm -hmm. Another ones, others are called revival, mm -hmm. others are called miracle what, mm -hmm. others are called what, what. And, and those fancy titles are just because somebody saw one part mm -hmm. of the manifestations yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Alafa katengeneza kajina. Akasema inonakana roo mtakatifu ni hivi. Apana. Roo mtakatifu ana manifest in different ways. Amen. Just call yourself church and it's enough. It's enough. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, the, the manifestations of the works of the kingdom mm -hmm. are all done through the Holy Spirit yes. who carries out the orders of the king. Amen. And in the lives of all that obey Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the bottom line is obedience. Mm -hmm. When you receive the word, you obey, then in you something begins to happen. Amen. The Bible says this, the Holy Spirit actually works faith in us. Yes. This is what he does. He takes the written word, mm -hmm. he puts breath in that written word, mm -hmm. and he presents that word to the hearers. Mm -hmm. And now it's no longer the logos, but the rema, Amen. the inspired word, Amen. the word for the moment. Amen. And the Bible says, that's the word of faith which mm -hmm. we preach. So what do we preach? Our preaching must be coming from the Holy Spirit. Look at Romans 10 verse 8. The Bible says, what does the word, what does it say? Uh, 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 the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth mm -hmm. and in thy heart. This, that is the word of faith, which we preach, which we preach. The word we are to preach is a word of faith. Mm -hmm. This word of faith, mm -hmm. if you check in Greek, the word, that word is called rema. Mm -hmm. That means the present applicable inspired word of god that i need for this time Amen. if i need salvation the rema is how can i get out of this unbelief mm -hmm. and break through and get born again mm -hmm. and so so when i go as a preacher and i'm inspired by the holy spirit the anointing will cause me to speak and speak into the hearts of the people mm -hmm. showing them it is possible today mm -hmm. to change mm -hmm. that is why paul says today when you hear the the, 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 the message of salvation mm -hmm. don't harden your heart mm -hmm. we we if we preach the word of faith something will happen in the hearts of the people Amen. and they will turn to God without struggle. Amen. 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 By faith, we are empowered to understand spiritual things. Mm -hmm. he, he, the Holy Spirit is the breath of the preaching of the word that we preach. Mm -hmm. So by faith, if you look at 11, uh, Hebrews 11 verse 3, the Bible says, by faith, we understand how the world was created, mm -hmm. yes. how the earth where, where we dwell, even the entire universe, whether visible or invisible things, mm -hmm. whether no things are known or they are yet to be discovered and known, mm -hmm. whether it is corona or whether it is it is it is it is malaria, mm -hmm. whatever it is, the, those are things. Mm -hmm. The Bible says they were all created by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Things were created because the word of God spoke was was spoken. Mm -hmm. Now this is how God works. He speaks and he creates, mm -hmm. calling things that are not as though they are. Mm. He calls things from nothingness mm. and he makes them appear. Mm. That's how we work. 
That's how we will preach. That's the message of the kingdom. The Holy Spirit will inspire you. You get to somebody and things begin to come into your mouth and you talk about a person's life and he wonders, he wonders like the woman at the well and say, come and see a man who spoke about me, all the things that happened to me in my life. Come and see whether he's the Messiah. God will give you gifts, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, inspiration. He will, he will expose uh, the, the Holy Spirit will expose Satan, will expose the underworkings of the of the works of darkness. Mm. Where the Holy Spirit is in operation and the word of God is being preached, miracles don't have to be mentioned. They will happen. Yes. Mm. It's part of the package. Yes. The Bible says God worked with the disciples and he accomplished and he confirmed the word. Amen. That Rema word which the Holy Spirit uses invokes faith in us. Mm -hmm. Everyone who gladly receives the word of God, Acts 2 verse 41, Romans 10, 17, everyone who readily receives the word of God, what happens to that fellow? The Bible says, faith rises. Mm -hmm. So I don't care the situation you are in. If you receive the word of God, mm -hmm. if only you receive the word of God, mm -hmm. the inspired word of God mm -hmm. that you need in this hour. And that's why we really have to be careful mm -hmm. and ask God to help us so that we have a message for the world of today. Mm -hmm. If we do that, we will lift people out of the dead. Mm -hmm. We will lift people out of Corona. Mm -hmm. God can heal all manner of sicknesses. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. this is true. Amen. Amen. Bible says God will keep us in the hour of trial that is ready to try the whole world. Mm. What is that hour of trial? Tribulation. Mm. And it is here with us. Mm. God says he is ready to keep us. Why? Because we are faithful to his word. Mm. When you are faithful to his word, he's going to keep you in the Amen. hour of trial. Amen. And God will preserve you. Amen. 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 That's, our, that's our focus. Mm. There is no effective preaching without the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's not there. So we have to come to the Holy Spirit. If you're not baptized in the Holy Ghost, when the Omba Mungu, Takatifu, even without a preacher, just kneel down where besides your bed or whatever place and say, God, I want the Holy Spirit. Takatifu. And you will change completely. As I draw near to the end, I want to say the Holy Spirit is the director of all missions. Amen. He is the director of all missions. Mm -hmm. And if you read the book of Acts, it is very, very clear how the Holy Spirit directed how the missions were carried out and uh, churches were open. You know, it's not about what I want to do. It's not about me. It's not about, um, you know, it's, it's not about uh, uh, the, 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 what I desire. Mm -hmm. It's about what the Lord wants. Mm -hmm. If you remember the last message we were sharing, um, where we are talking about Jesus Christ sent them before, yeah, two by two to every place where he wanted to go. So Jesus is the one who wants to go there. Mm. So he sends us. So the Holy Spirit determines where we want to be, we are supposed to be. And he inspires us, puts it in us, we perceive it, we move on. He's the director of missions. Mm. As long as we allow him to do that, he will help us to know the where and the how to win souls Amen. into the kingdom. Amen. Amen. It's, it's not so much of too much program. Program is good. Organize yourself. But without the Holy Ghost, it's going to be dry. It's going to be a struggle. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 and 14, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore how, how, have I spoken. We also believe and therefore we speak. Amen. 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 This kingdom message is about you believing, you obeying it, and now you speak it by faith because people spoke because they believed. You also believe and you speak and things happen Amen. because you believe it. Bible says knowing that he was, which raised it up uh, the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. In other words, whatever has happened to Jesus Christ rising from the dead, we also will rise from the dead. Amen. 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 I am emphasizing again and again, the Holy Spirit is the director of all missions. This is why we pray. This is why we engage the Lord of the harvest. He said, um, uh, pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he may send 
laborers into the harvest. Let's take our time to pray, seeking God, praying, fasting. Lord, show us, Lord, show us. Even if you don't see anything, continue praying, continue praying. Have another session of prayer and fasting. There will be a time you will draw so close until you will sense what the Holy Spirit is saying. And when you, you launch out there, every demon will be subject to you and you will speak and things will happen. That's our message. That's how we are supposed to be. Yeah. So I want us to read Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15. Here is what it says. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. So you can't call on the name of the Lord and yet you have not believed him. Mm -hmm. Then it says, and how shall they believe on him of whom they have not heard mm -hmm. so they have to hear first yeah. for them to believe yeah. so that they call upon him mm -hmm. and how shall they hear without a preacher mm -hmm. so a preacher is very important this is why we are on this forum mm -hmm. and and verse 15 is so good i've put it in red it says and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and, and bring glad tidings of good things. Mm -hmm. If we have to preach, I repeat again, mm -hmm. my beloved brethren, if we have to preach, mm -hmm. we must be sent. Amen. You don't send yourself. Yes. You don't call yourself. Yes. We, we have a lot of people who have called themselves. Mm -hmm. I have met some very simple people who don't even understand the Bible, calling themselves apostle, I am apostle so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Titles today are very important. In mm -hmm. fact, pastor is no longer a fancy title. Yeah. Now people are going for bishop mm -hmm. and apostle. Mm -hmm. Others are saying prophet. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people are just so excited about titles, but they don't even understand the message of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I want to emphasize, we have to be sent. Mm -hmm. And the one sending us is the Holy Spirit. Amen. We need to spend time with him, like in Acts chapter 13, where the Bible says the church came together, men and women of God, apostles, teachers, preachers, uh, ministers of the word of God, Paul, Barnabas, they were there. The Bible says, and they prayed and they worshiped and they sought the Lord. And then the Holy Ghost says, separate for me, Paul and Barnabas, because I have a mission for them. We must be sent. The one to send us is the Holy Spirit. Let us submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit. He will just show us what to do. He will show you that the neighbor is struggling and is about to commit suicide. Go and talk to him. I have already won his heart to you. And then you will go and say, Jesus loves you. He has told me you don't have to commit this suicide. And he will wonder how you knew it. And you will tell him the Holy Ghost revealed it. Amen. When it happens like that, mm. the mission is sweet. The mm. mission is easy. Let us spend time for our feet to be shod with the preparation to preach the gospel of peace. Amen. We have to be sent. Mm. The Holy Spirit is the director of all missions of the kingdom. Mm. Amen. 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 That is the end of part one of the kingdom message. God bless you all. God bless you. Allow, allow me to just do a prayer, please. Yes. I feel we need to do a prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. we do thank you. We do glorify you. We do honor you for your greatness. Mm -hmm. How you have loved us. That from the beginning, the agenda of our redemption has been, has been ringing through the Bible. Mm -hmm. You saw us before we were formed in our mother's womb. You called us before even we were, for, we were born. Mm -hmm. We thank you for such a privilege and the revelation of the truth. Mm -hmm. And how we bow before you and honor you as our king. The king of kings and the lord of lords. Saying you alone are Jehovah. Jehovah, you alone, you reign, you alone are worthy. You are the lamb that was slain. You are the lamb of sacrifice. You took our death where we needed to die. You took our curses where we needed to, where we were cast. And today the Bible tells us by your stripes we are healed. We rise up in the faith of the kingdom. We rise up to embrace.
embrace the kingdom. It doesn't matter who is on our side. We know and believe that Jesus Christ being on our side, we will be able to do exploits. We pray to stand firm. We pray to stand and share the word of God as it is and be in submissive to the Holy Spirit. Help us to put ourselves in subjection to you. Help us to humble ourselves. Help us to follow you without despairing. Oh, we pray for your encouragement and strength and inspiration upon your servants. Oh, we pray that your anointing will rest mightily upon us. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we know we shall tread down over all scorpions and over all serpents and all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us. We glorify you. Teach us the wisdom of how to go forth as lambs in the midst of wolves. Teach us, Lord, to have the calmness and the peace of a dove, yet be as crafty as the serpent. We pray for the wisdom of the kingdom. We pray for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. We pray that our lives will be under the power and the control of the Holy Spirit. Oh, God, make us sensitive to the environment around us. People are crying. They are looking for God. Lord, cause us to sense that cry. Cause us to sense what you want to do in their lives. Cause the message to be in our hearts to share with them. We long to see the power of the Holy Spirit, the power that converts the soul, the power that changes the, the rebellion of man to an obedient servant of God. We pray for your help. We pray for your encouragement. Thank you for what you're doing through uh, the NAFRE. We want to thank you for every member. We thank you for other believers that even joined the forum of today. We honor your name, oh God. How we thank you that you have intended to do good. As we continue on this mentorship program, Lord, we bless you. We thank you that you have great things in store for us and into, and, and, and into your hands we commit ourselves, oh God. And we declare that with God, we shall do valiantly for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. We thank you and we honor you. For this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the people say amen. 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 amen.